Hi, I'm Dana, and today I'd like to share my latest Goodwill hauls with you. Um, and it was from this past weekend, which was Saturday and Sunday. And this is Sven. Um, he's going to join us for the haul as well. And um, before I start, I wanted to um, just take a moment to thank all the subscribers and the people who have liked the videos. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you all. And also, um, a quick shout out to those who left me comments on the last haul video. And so that would be uh, Julie, Jen, aka Material Girl, It's a Deal Cherry, Brenda M, Get a Thrift, Carmen, Miss, Miss Gerties, <laughs> and I'm so sorry if I'm uh, pronouncing that wrong, um, but Ms. Gerties J, Rose, Flo, Barbie, and Terry. Thank you all so, so much for all of your comments. Um, I really appreciate you all, and snaps to you. Okay, um, so I'll go ahead and get started with uh, Saturday's haul. Okay, Sven? Yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna put this one over here. Let's see how's that? Okay. So with Saturday, um, uh, so my Goodwill bins charges a dollar seventy nine per pound, and also um, what they do is they allow um, everyone to come in for a rotation, and then um, when they do in the next rotation, they usher, they make us pay. They usher us out and then we wait for them to set up the next rotation. So what happens is they, they put out about 20 bins at each time. And um, I ended up buying 38 pounds worth of clothing. Um, so that came out to be $68.48. Um, and so when I counted up the items, I I purchased 46 items, so that came out to about $1.49 per item, which is basically um, before uh, my Goodwill bins made the cha the price change, it was $1.50 per item. Okay, so anyways, I'll go ahead and start. Let's see. So here is this, I believe it's vintage, uh, vintage BB's BB wool dress and it has this really cute sort of corset um, waist detail um, I don't know if it is actually leather but maybe I don't know if I can find it um, okay yeah the materials tag is so worn um, I can't there's like nothing on it so it kind of looks like it actually might be uh, real leather. So anyways, I, I do like to pick up BB. It does kind of sit a while for me. Um, it takes a little while to sell, but I, I like to pick it up. Okay, and then also I went ahead and picked up this long cardigan sweater. Um, never heard of this brand. It's Hunter's Run and it's made in Hong Kong so I believe it's vintage but it's just really beautiful you know dark brown color I don't know it just really says fall to me and let's see made in Hong Kong it's a hundred percent wool and it's actually um, sort of extra long <laughs> It's almost like a trench trench coat long so I I just thought this is really lovely and I'm just checking for holes right now uh, I see something that's kind of almost like a pinhole yeah there's a little there's a little pinhole here um, and so I might I'll either disclose it by taking a photograph of it or I can do a little stitch and you know take care of that but anyways um, yeah I think that's a really nice piece um, 
so we'll see I might even try to sell if I don't list it on uh, you know either Poshmark or eBay I might sell it to my um, buy sell trade store or my consignment shop that I like to take things to um, and then I also decided to pick up this sweatshirt um, so it has uh, notorious B.I.G. as a baby and has Brooklyn and he's wearing a little crown so I I don't know I just couldn't pass this one up I thought it was really really cute right Sven? <laughs> where are you going buddy? Huh? okay so <coughs> this one of the resellers asked me if I wanted this and I said okay <laughs> Are you sure you don't want it? And he said, yeah. It's new with tags Lululemon. And it looks like it's a tennis dress. Um, I'm sorry that, you know, it's pretty bright in here today. So I'm not sure if you can see it. It is in good condition, but it does look like it got a little bit, a little dirty at the bins. So I don't know if that's something that I can go ahead and just spot treat some of the it's almost like, you know, um, like when you drop it on the ground or something, a little bit of surface dirt. So this one is a size 10. Um, it's not really, oh yeah, it's got a lot of dirt on the bottom. Blech. We'll see. It's not really the season for this, but you know, again, um, it's warm somewhere. <laughs> so it'd probably be a really good idea to go ahead and list it. Um, I'm going to put it on the side because I'm going to need to spot treat this. I uh, also found this Eileen Fisher. I think it's like a tunic top. It's really um, nice. I'm noticing, I think it's just, it's not a hole or anything. It's just sort of a, a wrinkle, I think. Let me see. You know what? It actually might be a tiny little, it's a, it might be a tiny little pull. Um, looks like it is silk. And yeah, it's a hundred percent silk in a size extra large, but really pretty. So I want to pick that up. Also picked up this Pendleton wool uh, plaid pearl snap <coughs> western 100% <laughs> wool shirt button-up shirt um, it says it's size long <laughs> I don't know what that means long <coughs> it's a western wear high grade shirt and I'm just checking, um, you know, uh, oftentimes with Pendleton, there'll be holes, um, you know, in their wool shirt. But, you know, this looks pretty, pretty clean. Am I missing something? <laughs> I, wow, I don't know. This looks pretty, pretty good. So, you know, happy to pick this up. Not sure if it's vintage. I need to check, you know, the tags. Uh, picked up another Eileen Fisher um, piece. It's a linen unstructured blazer. And on Saturday, um, in a couple of bins, I think there was quite a few Eileen Fisher pieces. And so, you know, happy to just, you know, snatch them up while I could. And um, because of the timing, you know, we have basically 30 minutes to go through 20 bins. So it's, it's really fast and there's not enough time to look up comps. So everything is just, you know, just using my judgment you know, at this point. And I know I'm picking up some bad, bad pickups. So, you know, um, but I think that's just gonna happen um, with how fast it's moving. Um, okay, so here is a Rolling Stones sweatshirt and it's 
sort of almost tunic style because it's oversized. Um, and it's actually H&M, I think. It's an H&M Rolling Stones collab. Um, but I, I thought it was in really good condition and it has this really great graphic on the front. So hoping that this will do well. Here's another Eileen Fisher uh, piece. It's an extra large. Oh wow, look how, how sheer it is. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. It's a um, tunic length, very lagging look, really lagging look. Um, great layering piece, I think. Uh, gorgeous. It, you know, could be for both all seasons because it is a great layering piece. Um, this one is 87% organic linen and 13% nylon. So, you know, a really good material content here. So, nice, nice pickup. Um, always happy to find Eileen Fisher. Let's see. And actually, um, I think I mentioned that I went to uh, shopping a, a while ago to this really nice uh, shopping area. It's an outdoor shopping area. And they, they had an Eileen Fisher store. I didn't have time to go through, but um, was, you know, happy to see that, that they actually have, you know, its own store. I've only been to... Um, this, uh, you know, other stores where I see them carry Eileen Fisher. So, you know, that was kind of new to me. Um, I don't go shopping very often <laughs> at retail stores. So, uh, anyways, here is a North Face shirt. The graphic looked like it was in pretty good condition. I like the pink on purple and long sleeve, um, long sleeve t-shirt. So, just decided to go ahead and pick it up. It wasn't too heavy. Here is this really, oh, I love, I love this color. I, I like this light blue-green color. Um, cashmere, 100% cashmere sweater. It's a Nordstrom Signature size small, so it's more of a relaxed fit. It does need some sweater shaving, um, which often happens with cashmere. Um, but I, th I hope I checked it pretty thoroughly for holes and I didn't see any. So, um, cashmere sweaters seem to be doing pretty well for me right now. So, you know, really trying to focus on looking for them when I'm at the bins. Uh, okay. So this one, uh, found this Carhartt rain jacket. There's the Carhartt logo patch. Um, you know, Carhartt is workwear, so this is definitely, you know, um, a sturdy, uh, hardy, substantial item. Great for work. And I think I did go ahead and look up comps real quick um, on eBay, and it seemed like um, you know, the price range or the, the sold ranges were pretty good, you know, anywhere between 30 to $50 for a rain jacket like this. So decided to go ahead and pick it up. I went ahead and just picked up this, uh, Scooby t-shirt and it actually, I don't know if it's actually Scooby. Um, uh, it's threadless. Um, so I think it's a, a, you know, I don't know, a takeoff on, um, Scooby-Doo, and I guess that would be Thelma, and I think this is probably, like, the zombie apocalypse time. <laughs> so, anyways, decided to pick that up. This one was a mistake. Um, I was, I threw this in the cart thinking that I was going to, you know, think about it and I didn't even realize it was in my cart. So I picked up this Goosebumps t-shirt, but I don't know. I might try, um, you know, selling this at the, uh, buy, sell, trade store, seeing, you know, if, 
if it moves. We'll see. Uh, picked up this Led Zeppelin band t-shirt. You know, it's most likely it's modern. Yeah, yeah, it's probably it's modern. It's a size small, but I picked it up to try to sell over at uh, Crossroads or at uh, my friend's consignment shop. Uh, I don't think I should have picked this up, <laughs> but it's you know a funny uh, Christmas sweater. I just noticed that there's a stain on the front. So anyways, I'll put this over in the, the wash. <coughs> Another one that I really wasn't, you know, I'm going to actually wash these t-shirts, I think. Um, I didn't mean to pick this one up, but I did. <laughs> so a graphic tee. Here is a Sundance shirt. Uh, it has sort of this wrap crossover and it's more of a fitted shirt so you can wear you know something on the inside like a really um, nice tank top or even maybe a bralette would be cute and let's see this is a size medium so Sun Sundance seems to do pretty well for me so that's why I decided to go ahead and pick this up and uh, I think I need to wash this one. Okay, so I picked up this, <laughs> I don't know. It's a Dixie, uh, I'm sorry. It's a Dickies Flex work shirt. And it is for divine plumbing. <laughs> but anyways, I, I like work shirts, I don't know. But, uh, Maybe I'll try it over at Crossroads. Let's see what happens. Okay. This is another Pendleton shirt. Um, this one is vintage for sure. It's made in, well, you know what? Pendleton might always be made in USA. I have to double check that. But I'm pretty sure this is vintage. Um, another reseller asked me if you know, I wanted this one, um, and I think there's holes in it. So I just thought the color was really, really beautiful. I love this coloring on this plaid. 100% wool, so I went ahead and, you know, said yes. <laughs> yes, thank you. So here is. <clears throat> Another Eileen Fisher piece. This is size, what size are you? Size medium. And it's a little shift dress. Again, very lagging look in style. Just loose fitting. Um, probably midi length. And it has this really nice sort of pattern or texture on it and the material content is 100% organic cotton. So, I'm happy with this pickup. Okay, I don't know what this is. <laughs> Another weird thing that I picked up. Uh, oh, it's, um, okay, this is a BDG denim. Um, and I don't know why I'm not seeing any tag. Oh, I see. It's on the pocket here, BDG. Uh, I don't know if I should have picked this up, but I thought I would give it a try. It's nice and stretchy. Uh, you know, again, recently went into an Urban Outfitters store, retail store. Um, really, you know, fun shopping experience. They have a lot of really cool items and very expensive actually <laughs> so i thought i'd give these you know black jeans a try i decided to go ahead and try this this is a porsche design porsche the car it has 
this um, label uh, 60 Jare Porsche 1948 to uh, 2008 or 2008 and I'm pretty sure it's it feels like wool feels very substantial um, and it is pure new wool <laughs> pure new wool so because it's Porsche size medium I decided to go ahead and pick it up um, you know it, maybe a Porsche enthusiast might appreciate this wool sweater so we'll see okay so I picked this one up just because I like the style and it's also new with tags um, it's Club Monaco the retail price was two hundred forty nine dollars you know new with tags and I thought it was silk when I picked it up so um, let's see, let me just double check, see, yeah, yeah, this is 100% silk, so because of all those factors, I went ahead and picked this up, and you know, Club Monaco um, is not a brand that I, I focus on, but, oh, I guess the other factor is, is that I thought it was a really lovely design or style so really simple minimalist kind of um, you know style dress okay oh I see a I see like coffee stains on on this so I'm gonna need to clean this one up somehow um, but this one is basically like a a, a shawl a, a wrap it's a it's like a wrap and it's mm lafleur so because it was mm lafleur and it looked like it was in pretty good condition although i didn't see that it has lots of <laughs> it has lots of stains so i don't know i'm gonna have to stain treat this um and you know i i know this is dry clean only but when I ha you know when I source dry clean only items, I don't send them to the dry cleaners because then it would you know there wouldn't be enough profit for me. I will hand wash them, and they tend you know and I don't put them in the dryer. I just flat dry them, and they they always tend to turn out fine. Um, you know and you know I'm willing to take that risk. So let's see. So this is 95% cotton and 5% cashmere. So, anyways. Uh, I'll put that over there. <clears throat> Here's this really pretty sweater. It's Lauren by Ralph Lauren. And it's a size extra large. I really like this color. I think this is a very pretty color. And I believe it's 100% cashmere. It feels like cashmere. Yeah, it's 100% cashmere. Um, it has this really great shawl collar. Uh, it's just, this is a really, this is a nice piece. I mean, this is something that I would, <laughs> I would like to keep myself, but you know, I, I should sell it. Um, maybe I'll wear it for a video <laughs> and then sell it. Uh, it's got this really great cable neck uh pattern on it very pretty uh, and you know i think i've shown you how i check for holes in cashmere um i basically stick my head inside and i look to see you know if the sun peeks through you know for any holes um and i know it looks really crazy but you know that's something that i i quickly do at the bins <clears throat> so anyways yeah like this like this sweater <clears throat> okay this one I'm not sure I should have picked up but I did um, you know I don't know I'm sure 
Oh, yeah. Let's see. Huh. What's going on here? Oh, it's missing it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I should have picked this one up. It's leather pants. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe if you guys have experience with leather pants, it's really, really wrinkled. Um, I don't know if that means that somebody just stored it away for a really long time. Or if they tried to wash it somehow or it got into... I don't know. So perhaps this is too much of a project. Um, luckily, it's not very heavy. You know, it's not like the very, very thick, heavy um, leather. So that's good. Um, yeah, it's, it's lined too. So I don't know. We'll see. But. I picked them up and the brand is Lucy so <laughs> yeah that was that was not a good pickup I don't even see a size on it so that was yeah I shouldn't have done that um, but you know what happens is uh, the security guard basically says okay time's up time to go and he's like basically kind of yelling at us like get out go in line and pay and so we have to stop you know I'm like checking things as I'm rolling the cart out and looking at my items you know and he's like come on come on come on come here. <laughs> he's doing a great job you know that's his job and um, you know it's not easy to like be forcefully like pushing people out every hour but you know that's what he does and you know um, we've had other security guards who you know, I don't think they feel comfortable being that um, forceful or, or whatever, you know what I mean? So, anyways, um, okay, so next item are these Columbia pants. Um, you know, I'm probably going to put down that they're hiking pants, although they just look like regular pants. They're in this really great sort of gray, slate gray color, lightweight, mm almost like a brushed cotton feel to them. You know, maybe it is cotton. Not sure. Uh, yeah, so it is 97% cotton and 2% or 3% elastane. So, um, Anyways, they're in really good condition. I just decided to go ahead and pick it up. You know, no time to run comps. So, uh, decided to try these American... I don't know why. I shouldn't have done this. I decided to try these American Eagle pants. Um, maybe not the best decision because they're heavy. They're heavy. Um, they're called the Dream Jean was not able to look up comps, but I just felt like, uh, they're also size 20. So I think they're a plus size. Stretchy. I think they're actually almost like a jegging. They have some distressing. And I liked the distressing. I liked that they're stretchy. I liked that they were a plus size and that they are a black wash because I thought black wash was good for, um, you know, fall and winter. So we'll see. Oh, okay. So this is, um, I was really happy to find this. This is a Remy, uh, leather blazer in this beautiful cognac brown color. And it is, this leather is so soft and, um, but yet yeah, it's very substantial. It's, it is quite a heavy jacket or coat. Um, so I, I don't know. I just thought this was so beautiful. It's a size 50 long. Um, so it's a larger size. And, you know, it's kind of, Remy is, 
I think they do a lot of Western wear, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up, you know, it, and it's in, it's in really good condition. I do see a little tiny, um, I don't know, little tiny flaws here and there, but it's, it's, you know, actually still in really good condition. So we'll see how that goes. Um, oh, happy with this pickup. Uh, Oakland A's Athletics jersey and it's Eckersley and uh, Eckersley I think his first name was Dennis back I don't know was it the 90s he was you know the Oakland A's closer um, closing pitcher yeah and he was really great you know mm -hmm. so um, really happy to, to find this um, there's a big old coffee stain right down the front uh it's cooperstown oh here it is dennis eckersley cooperstown collection 1989 uh mitchell and ness so yeah it's all patches um there's oakland ace elephant over there so Really, you know, happy to pick this one up. Um, this one, I'm going to need to stain treat. Hopefully, can get that coffee stain out. And let's see. We have another Columbia. These are hiking pants. They're lightweight. And they are cargo pants. They have this uh, canvas belt on them. They feel like they're, you know, brand new. Omni Wick. So advanced evaporation, size 3434, so um, men's, uh, and they are also convertible. So they convert into um, hiking cargo shorts. So happy with this pickup. And, oh, okay. So um, in honor of Sonia over at Selling for Good, I picked up another Gloria Vanderbilt um, pair of jeans and this one is the all-around slimming effect um, it's curvy size 12 so you know um, Sonia does really great with jeans and it, you know her sort of bread and butter uh, brand that she likes to pick up is Gloria Vanderbilt and I had picked up some Gloria's um, a while ago and they did sell. Um, I don't carry that many. Um, so I think I sold them all. So, you know, I decided to, you know, pick up Gloria Vanderbilt when I see a, like a really nice pair. I find them quite often at the bins, but they tend to be, you know, pretty worn. Um, and because I believe that, you know, um, Sonia she really focuses in on jeans and she has she carries a lot of jeans in her closet in her stores so um you know when you carry a lot um you sell a lot you know so i'm probably going to sit on this for a while but um you know wanted to go ahead and pick it up and it's not going to you know bring a high dollar amount but you know hopefully it will sell you know it won't take too long to sell so we'll see and, um, you know, I'll go ahead and link one of uh, Sonia's videos below. Um, I really enjoy watching her videos. And she she, um, she comes out with a video every day. So, you know, I look forward to, to seeing her every day. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. Here is a Columbia. I'm looking for what it's called. It's... It's a GRT. I don't know what GRT stands for, um, but it's a vented shirt in this really great color. It's like a burnt orange color. And it kind of is this ripstop fabric, very lightweight, probably dries really fast. I need to look up and see what GRT stands for because it's not what is a PF their professional fishing shirt um, it's it's not that anyways I really like the color 
and the fact that it's you know vented so I can put down fishing and hiking as keywords okay so also picked up this St. John little um, skirt and uh, St. John is a pretty pretty nice brand I think so I went ahead and picked it up and I'm just trying to see if I can it just says dry clean I don't see materials tag unfortunately shucks made in USA uh, I don't know if that means that it's vintage but um, yeah so let's see Okay, oh yeah, I picked up a North Face cargo hiking pants. Very happy with this pickup. There it is. Um, has the cargo pockets on the sides of the pants. Oh, and it's convertible too. So yeah, converts to um, hiking shorts, which is great. Um, also has, it has so many great details. It has. A zipper at the bottom and flat pockets so you know it's got some elastic at the waist really nice pair of pants here size medium so happy to pick up hiking pants here is a cashmere sweater and I hope there's no holes. I'm pretty sure I checked it. Let's see, this is a size small cashmere uh, luxury. Uh, it's Charter Club luxury. So very, very soft. Soft and lightweight. So happy with that. Okay, so here is an interesting pickup. I, I don't, I think this is the first time I picked up Sonoma, Sonoma brand, and the, the reasons I picked up this uh, sweater is that it is um, new with tags, I, it's very soft, it's long line open cardigan in this really pretty colors, you know, it's got the co color blocking, and you know because it is you know coming on to the holiday season I am you know really looking for you know more new with tags items this is also extra extra large so it's a you know really good size I didn't look up the material content on this um, but I thought all the other factors yeah it's just acrylic and nylon so you know not the best material makeup but um, it's a cute style, so we'll see. Let's see. It sells at Kohl's for $50, so we'll see. Uh, found this Lululemon. Yeah, with and it also has the pull tag on it still, which is nice. It's a size 8, and it is a really cute vest. I believe it is a puffer down vest, but it's, you know, not super puffy. <laughs> it is um, modestly puffy. <laughs> Let's see. I'm looking to see if the materials tag tells me anything. Um, it's all like rolled up and balled up. Yeah, I believe it. It is, it has, uh, I don't know, it's not really telling me a lot here. Interesting. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, it's um, filled with goose down feathers. So. And I'm just kind of checking to see the um, condition because you know don't have that much time to check but yeah so this is a nice pickup looks you know kind of like brand new 
Oh, okay. Yeah, so I picked up this uh, Free People. I think it could either be like a mini dress or a tunic. Very pretty, has lovely, lovely uh, embroidery on the top part. And it has, I didn't know what it was, I just grabbed it, threw it in the cart, and then, um, then noticed, you know, the little tag. Um, the little uh, copper plate is kind of coming off on one side. So I don't know, if I have a moment, I might stitch that back on. Um, just to make it a little bit more presentable, but it otherwise it's in really good condition. I don't know if I should have picked this up, but I did. It's um, Free People Beach. Just a little cute little um, A-line skirt. And it's this size extra small. So anyways, it, it has a really nice kind of rust color, so we'll see. This is another one I debated on um, if I should pick up or not because there's a giant stain on the front. But it is uh, the North Face and it's almost like this scuba material um, jacket, women's jacket. Lovely sort of lavender purple color. But, you know, I think you could probably see it. It's got a big old stain here. Um, you know, I, I'm thinking it perhaps maybe it's a grease stain. So I'll go ahead and put some Dawn dish soap on it let it soak for a while um, and then wash it with some OxyClean. So, you know, fingers crossed. <laughs> Another North Face item. This is, I don't know, I think this is a really, really cute um, fleece vest. I like the colors and it has this patch on the front, which is really interesting. I haven't seen things with this patch. Uh, North Face, size large, it's men's, and it has this G uh, uh, kind of embroidered on the back. I don't know what G stands for. Is that like some sort of a college, maybe? Or a company? I'm not sure, but Decided to go ahead and pick it up. It's in good condition. I think I'd like to give it a wash. Um, it looks like some of the fleece is kind of matted down on the left side. Maybe that's the area where they put their, I don't know, like their book bag or something like that. So let's see if I can wash it if, it, if that helps. Um, Okay, I went ahead and picked up this t-shirt. It's a Capri Sun t-shirt. Thought this might do okay at um, Crossroads. Uh, it, the brand is called Philadelphia, made in Korea. It's not single stitch, but it might be early 2000s. And, oh yeah. So this was an exciting pickup. Um, let's see. It's a... Johnny was silk dress in this beautiful floral. I just, it's gorgeous. I, I saw it kind of peeking out in the bin and I just saw the floral and I thought it was so pretty. The colors were so pretty. I just, you know, grabbed it out and then it was Johnny was, which is great. Um, very exciting. Maxi. And Look at this pattern, it's just gorgeous. Really, really pretty. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's 100% silk. It feels silk. I'd be surprised if it isn't. But you know what, I've been surprised with Jenny was before, so. Um, I can't find the materials tag. I'm gonna have to search, search and search. Also, there's no size tag on this on this gal here. So this is going to be a little bit. <laughs> I need to do a little more research on this one. But very pretty. Okay, there and then. Um, okay, and then I also found another Remy leather jacket. This one is kind of more of a bomber style jacket. Or, 
you know, a dad style. And it's, I don't know what kind of leather this is. It's kind of almost a, almost like a suede. Really interesting. Um, it does have shoulder pads in it, so not sure if this one might be vintage. It's made in USA. Kind of makes me feel like maybe it is vintage. And it's a size 40. So it's in great condition. So happy to pick this up. Okay, so that was from Saturday. <laughs> so um, quite a few pieces. You know, some items were, you know, bad pickups. Uh, but I thought maybe I can go through um, some comments uh, before I go through Sunday's um, Sunday's haul. So let me see. And this would be comments from haul number 30. Hi, Julie. Thank you so much for your comment. Oh, oh okay. Um, she said, hi, she, oh, so you like the North Face jacket. I'd have to look that one up. I can't remember which North Face jacket you're talking about, but um, I'll try to remember to look it up for you. And um, yes, and then also, oh, she says, your puppy wants to be a star. <laughs> he doesn't want to be a star today. He's tired, so <laughs> yes. Okay, and then, oh, okay, and then the Felix the Cat shirt. Uh, I think I measured it, and um, it is listed. So in case you would like to purchase it, um, it's listed in my uh, both my Poshmark and my eBay stores. And so you can go ahead and look it up. And, um, you know, for anyone who is a viewer, and you see an item that you like in you know any of my stores please just you know send me an offer or just you know mention that you're a viewer and so then I can give you a you know a good discount um, so yeah yes so thank you Julie thank you so much for your comments I really appreciate you oh hi Jen also known as material girls how you doing Oh, Tadashi is great. Yes, thank you so much for letting me know that. Um, I think it was uh, referring to the Tadashi Shoji dress. I went ahead and listed it, and I think I've gotten some likes and things, but um, you also mentioned, or someone mentioned, that um, it might be more of a long tail um, item, so I might need to sit on it for a while. But, um, you know, with weddings and um, special occasions kind of coming up, maybe, maybe it will sell. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping so. So, yes. Thank you so much for your comment, Jen. I really appreciate you. Hi, it's Adil Cherry. How you doing? So good to hear from you. Oh, okay. Flying Tomato does really well for you. So that's really great to know. Um, I've... You know that was my first time picking it up but it was a super cute style um, yeah so I really liked the style um, I'm just looking for my coffee right now <laughs> here it is yeah so uh, I'd be curious you know to um, see what the comps are um, although you know I'm thinking I might take it over to my consignment shop the the one where my friends just opened up a store I might try try taking it there first and seeing if they'll pick it up but um yes cherry thank you so much for your comment it was so good to hear from you and i really appreciate you hi brenda how you doing brenda m um yes thank you so much for your comment okay so brenda says ah Kasik, Kasik is Lane Bryant's Intimates line. So yes, thank you so much for letting me know. Um, I have to remember that, and I have to. I hope it's pronounced Kasiks. I, I have no idea. <laughs> but um, thank you, Brenda. Thank you so much for your comment. I appreciate you. Oh, hi, Gieta Thrift. So good to hear from you. 
Diesel jeans and third love bras do great for her. Yes, that's so good to hear. Um, yeah, third love bra. I went by the third love bras and that was in uh, Walnut Creek. They have this really nice shopping area. They had a store just dedicated just to their, you know, to their brand. And it was a really nice store. So um, it's great to hear that, you know, those brands do well for you, get a thrift. And um, hope you're doing well. So good to hear from you. Oh, hi, Jen. Hi, Jen. Um, oh, you like the uh, soft surroundings dress? Yes. Thank you. I still have to list it. <laughs> I It takes me a while to list things, unfortunately. But um, I don't know. I I know that I the buy sell trade stores, I'm pretty sure they won't pick it up just because it looks more sort of spring summery. And they really are sticklers at, um, you know, staying with the seasons. So... Um, I'm going to need to list that one. <laughs> Hi, Carmen. Oh. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Carmen. Um, she says, I really enjoy watching your videos. You have a great eye. Well, thank you. Um, not always. <laughs> I do pick up some bad pickups, too. You know, um, and, you know, that happens. But, um, you know, I, I don't know. I, I figure I, I just can't be perfect all the time, you know. And um, let's see. She says, I'm struggling with sales. Not sure what I'm doing wrong. Um, also, Sven is adorable. Thank you. Yes. I love Sven. <laughs> he is adorable. Um, so, struggling with sales. You know, my sales have not been the best lately. Um, so I would say October has not been, um, I anticipated, you know, more sales and they've just been okay. Um, better than last year, but I think September, I had really, I had a really good sales month and this month for whatever reason has slowed down. So, um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put down one of the links below for Sandra the Boss Mom. I just watched one of her videos and I thought it was really, um, it was an interesting video. It kind of talks about like when, you know, sales are slow for her, she does, you know, a number of different things. And I thought that was really helpful. Um, but for me, what I do is I... I try to like, I look at my inventory list, you know, like after I sell it, I'm not sorry, after I list it, I look at my inventory list and I see, you know, what items are selling quickly. Um, and then to me, that kind of tells me like, oh, those are the items that I need to focus, you know, more on. And the items that are not selling as quickly, you know, maybe I can ease up on those. Um, I don't know. That's one thing that I kind of do. And then... Um, I also think about like, you know, how I'm pricing things. Am I pricing things competitively or am I pricing things too high? So, you know, those are the two things that I kind of can do, you know, pretty easily is, you know, make sure I'm picking up items that people are searching for and that the price that I'm not pricing things too high. Um, and then the other thing I do is I go through, um, and especially for Poshmark, for the older items, I'll go ahead and um, either lower the, the pricing or I might even think about relisting them. So, you know, those are the things that I can do. Um, you know, so that's the way I kind of push sales a little bit. And um, yeah, otherwise, the other thing I think about is that Q4 is a time where I think resellers are really pushing their items. And so I think it's a really competitive time um, for reselling. 
So people are listing more, they're competitively pricing their items. You know, this is the time that they're really focusing on selling. And so, you know, competition is, is fierce at this time. Um, so I kind of have that in the back of my head as well. And um, also, another thing that I'm thinking about is that I'm, pricing, I'm, I'm listing higher priced items right now. And that is, um, you know, jackets, sweaters, and coats as well as you know jeans and things like that so I'm pricing things higher and those higher priced items tend to take a little longer to sell so anyways um, I don't know I hope that was a little helpful and I think um, you know actually your comment is very helpful it's good to know you know you know when you know those of us are having a little bit harder time you know making sales you know putting it out there and asking others you know how sales are going for everyone else too so you know let us know um, in the comments below you know how sales have been going for everyone and um, you know what you guys do to you know make sales happen so uh, Carmen thank you so much for your comment I really appreciate you hi hi Gerdes I hope I'm pronouncing it right Gerdes Gerdes um, thank you so much for your comment. Okay, I'm going to read this because it's really sweet. Uh, hi Dana, I just joined you. Thank you. Have only watched three to four of your videos, but I'm hooked. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I really, you know, appreciate hearing that. It's really very motivating and inspiring for me. Your speed is more human. <laughs> and to my liking oh great uh, I love your choices on the items you pick without relying on comps you really have a very good sense and a good eye on substantial and classic pieces oh thank you keep up the good work I'm intrigued <laughs> oh Gerdes thank you so much for this awesome comment um, you know that's so motivating for me and I'm so happy um, that you know you find value with um, the videos and I definitely think find value from your comment and really appreciate you so thank you hi Rose so good to hear from you Rose uh, she says uh, thanks for sharing your haul loved your hat model <laughs> I think that was Sven right yeah Sven's a great model <laughs> Um, let's see. I've sold a few Tadashi sh Shoji. Oh, awesome. Beautiful dresses. Yeah. Um, now that I found one of his dresses, um, I, you know, I agree. It's really, you know, lovely dresses. Um, they are more of a long tail item, but with the holidays coming up and all the weddings still taking place, it can sell soon too. Okay. Good to know. Have a great weekend, Dana. Oh, thank you, Rose. Yeah, Rose, thank you for this tip. Um, it's really great to hear that, you know, Tadashi Shoji sells well for you. And also the fact that it is kind of a long tail item, that means that I, you know, I'll kind of sit back and, and let it do its thing. <laughs> so thank you, Rose. So good to hear from you. And I really appreciate you. Hi, Flo. Hey, good to hear from you. Oh, thank you. She says, great haul, Dana. I think you did really well within the time constraints, too. Thank you. And um, Flo uh, likes to shop at the same bins that I shop at. So, um, you know, Flo, how's it been? Have you been picking up some good items? I've been making some mistakes, you know, just because of the, the time constraints. Um, and I'm trying not to stress out about it and just, you know, kind of think that it's par for the course. And, you know, maybe, maybe I'll get better at, at sorting and, um, you know, sourcing. <laughs> we'll see. So thank you so much, Flo. So good to hear from you. 
Oh, hi Barbie. So good to hear from you too. And um, yeah, she said, you did such a great job considering the time limit at your bins. Loved your selections. Yeah, thank you. And um, yeah, thanks for, for pointing that out because it is really fast. I'm, you know, I'm trying to do the best that I can. <laughs> And um, I think, you know, maybe it's maybe it's going to be good for me because it's forcing me to try to be a little bit quicker with my decision making process. So we'll see, right? And um, yeah, no, I I really appreciate your comment, and it's so good to hear from you, Barbie. Take care. Hope you're doing well. Oh, hi Terry. So good to hear from you. Oh, she, okay. So Terry says that Auden is a Target brand. And she loves, she says, she says, love your vids on what you resource. So thank you, Terry. Um, thank you for letting me know about Auden. Um, do you pick it up? I was just curious. And um, does it sell well for you? I'm really surprised with Target brands, you know, like Knox Rose and things. Um, and I hear other resellers do pretty well with um, other Target brands. So um, quality seems pretty good, you know, but um, I don't know. Just the resale value is kind of questionable. So anyways, Terry, thank you so much for your comment. I really appreciate you. Okay. And actually, you know, since... I think what I'm going to do is I think I will cut this video at this point and make sort of like a haul number two, part two, and show um, the Sunday haul in a separate video because um, otherwise I think it's going to go really, really long. So anyways, thank you so much for joining me with this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please subscribe and, you know, hit the like button and, um, you know, let me know in the comments like what you've been picking up lately love to hear from you okay take care bye bye for now